Hi guys, so I've been asked if a dual form can make a rounded or not stiletto because it's more of a rounder almond nail. And I thought, I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, you can fill it in and then file it into a circular shape or a round shape or almond. Um, but what I did was I used this dual form right here. And I'm just outside because, I don't know, I just want to talk about it for a second. And I filled it in uh, completely and kind of made it a little bit round so I wouldn't be wasting product instead of just shaving it down to a round shape after you use the product. I kind of kept it round and then I applied it here. It looks pretty awesome. I I don't know. This is the size I usually use on my pinky so I can kind of tell it um, the way it looks on this, you know, uh, fake hand here. Um, it's really good so I am going to try and replicate this on my actual nails and it was super fast guys it took me less than really a minute to put this one together but um you know and then the drying time obviously you have to wait for the dual form to dry and then pop it off but I think that's pretty good so I'm gonna try it and let's okay, see so what my happens. nails are all um unpolished and everything ready to go um just wash my hands I just want to talk about what I'll be using I'll be using the Omega um line of uh, monomer and clear uh, acrylic powder. Uh, I'll be using the mix that I had made with just some silver holographic glitter and I used Diva DC in this so I am going to be mixing the monomer from uh, Omega with this but um, hopefully there won't be any issues with that so there's that. Um, I'm going to be using uh, for the other nail color Flirty Bikini by Super Nail and this came in their kit of like however many colors I think it's their neon colors and it's just a gorgeous pink. And again I'll be using the monomer with that so hopefully that's okay. Um, I'll be using some rhinestones and maybe some 3D nail artwork. A number eight brush, this is a no lift nails one, but uh, no, they don't carry it anymore at Sally's, but it's exactly the same on nailiteink.com. And it is smashed to make it more flat instead of being more round. Um, now I wanna talk really quickly about um, the dual forms. I'm gonna be using the dual forms that come from YS Nails, and where'd the rest of them go? Well, anyhow, I'll be using these dual forms. Um, I do not recommend buying from this company because like I said, they it took months for them to make my order correct and I've heard from so many women that say they just didn't even get their orders. So I am going to be using these. I don't recommend you go and try and buy them because I just don't want you to pay for them and then not get your order, okay? But they are pretty well rounded. They have a nice curve, okay? That's what's really good about these. The C curve is awesome. Um, with the ASP forms or the kind you can get on eBay, the light was going crazy. Um, the ones from eBay are not as rounded as a curved, the C curve, so it might not be as easy to make the, the rounded tip nails with these, but you can try it, and of course, um, or just go ahead and fill it in and then shape your nails round. It's not a big deal, but um, so I'm just going to be using the Wild Nails ones, but like I said, I don't recommend that you go with them. But let me get this light back on. And um, okay, so I've already measured those out. And the way you want to measure your dual forms is put them on your thumb or your nail, whatever it is, whichever nail. And you want it to be a little bit, fit side to side snugly, but just a little bit larger if you can do that, okay? Because by the time you fill it in, it gets a little bit smaller, like the what's in here ends up being less wide than the actual form, okay, so if that makes any sense. So when you put it on, you want it to be uh, covering the nail pretty well. And of course, I'm going to be using, right now, my antibacterial cleansing spray. That's from ASP. I'm just going to spray my hands, even though they are washed, and I spray pretty much everything I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to go in right now and push back my cuticles. And you want to push them very lightly. You're not trying to, you know, damage your nails. So push them back and then remove any little dead skin that might be around there. And also uh, buff the nail. I'm gonna use the 180 side of this. Um, 220 would be even better. Um, and just up and down in the, the, um, in the direction that your nail grows, which is out, of course. I'm just going to take the buff off, uh, buff the shine off of the nail, okay? This hand yet, I have prepped this hand, as you can tell the difference, <laughs> okay? Um, I have my monomer here ready to go. I have my clear powder open, and I have my mix, which is just um, holographic glitter, a teaspoon of holographic glitter, a teaspoon of clear acrylic. Just give it a good mix, get make sure it's ready to go. And then my flirty bikini color is right here. And I'll have those open and ready to go. And let me dip my brush, get that ready. So I've already, um, like I said, sized my nails. And now they're all over the place. I'll start with my thumbnail just to make it easier for you guys to see. And I'm gonna take my Nail Pure Plus, sorry. It's a cleanser dehydrator by NSI. And I'm going to dehydrate every single nail. 
And I'm just showing you guys this because um, I haven't done a tutorial like full full in a while. Normally that's how I do them, but anyhow. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Something Wonderful primer and I'm gonna apply two coats of primer before I get started. I would like to do them as I'm going, but I'm just gonna do the whole one hand and then um, apply the next. So I'm gonna apply one coat and go and do all the nails, trying to avoid your skin. You don't want to get this stuff everywhere. You don't want to be sloppy with this or your acrylic, okay guys, when you're doing your your nails. Okay, so I'm gonna apply one coat and then I'm gonna come in and do a second coat right before so we two get coats started of primer with the nails. On. I'm going to start with the largest, the thumbnail, so you can see it easier. I'm going to dip into my acrylic liquid and I'm going to make this one silver, why not? So I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna pick up some of the silver let it come to consistency. And I'm going to apply it. It's going to go the whole length of the nail, all the way down to the nail bed, all the way up to the actual nail tip, okay? So I'm going to be doing full nail designs with this one. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more. You know, this doesn't have to be too thick, okay, guys? But as I'm working with this, what we're going to keep in mind is we want it to go all the way up to the edges because when you apply it to your nail, you want it to be a full nail design. And then choose how long you want them. I'm gonna go up to this second to the last line, okay? And as I'm doing this, I'm pushing it to the sides. I'm not letting it rest in the middle so you have a nice C curve. And as you can see, my tip is kind of rounded already. All I'm gonna do is kind of push it down a little bit and try to give it a round shape. And that's just so you don't waste product. You can go all the way to the top and make it nice and um, straight and then at the end when you're done file them down to a rounded shape then you're just going to rub off a lot of um, your glitter so you might as well not do that try to get into the shape that you want it to begin with okay and I can see there's a little space here where it might need a little more glitter I'm just going to let that set for just a second like I said I've been pushing it all the way up to the sides and I don't know if you can see but it's very thin and when I apply this, it's not going to be too, too long. As you can see that, they're not going to be huge long. So I'm going the way the very tip of what I formed is going to be about the second line from here. There's one line here, there's another line. If you don't have the kind that are line, then just make up where you want it to go, okay? So now that's dried a little bit, I'm going to go in and pick up some clear acrylic. I'm going to let it, you know, do what it needs to do. And I'm going to apply it again across the whole nail. Be generous at the tip because you're going to need some reinforcement and then bring it down into the nail bed. And right now I'm going to kind of concentrate more on the tip. And if it goes past the tip, that's okay. You're going to file it down anyway. So let's just try to make a nice sturdy nail. It's not going to break, but it's not too, um, too thick either. Okay, now I'm going to apply some more to the nail bed. And this is what I'm going to be using to actually adhere it to my nail. So, and plenty, put plenty, you don't want nail air bubbles in there and it's gonna squeeze out. So whatever squeezes out, that's just fine, okay? So now I'm just kind of letting it set a little bit. I'm gonna take it and apply it over my thumbnail. I usually go back to front and I apply it with some pressure, kind of pushing it towards the front of the nail. And I'm going to hold it with my other finger. Whatever squeezes out, you kind of want to remove that as it's squeezing out. You don't really want to wait for that to harden, okay? So I'm just going to hold on to this for maybe 20, 30 seconds until it starts hardening. And just remove whatever squeezes out. And then at the bottom, what I'm going to do is whatever this clear stuff that's squeezing out here is just brush it up. Brush it up towards the tip, it's going to help reinforce your tip, and then we're going to get rid of the extra. If there's extra enough for you to like just get rid of like I did there, then do that, okay? If not, then just kind of brush it up and kind of massage it into the tip of the nail, okay? And we're going to remove all that excess stuff anyway, so I'm just going to hold on to this for a few seconds, and I'll come back um, in so about when you're able minute. to let it go, just go ahead and let it go, and just leave it sitting there. So now I'm going to go into the next nail, which is going to be a number seven that goes on my pointer finger. I'm going to alternate colors and that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to hold on to my um, dual form. I'm going to pick up some of that pink color. And I can tell already it's kind of dry so I'm going to have to make it a little bit wetter. And just start applying it like we did with the glittery color. 
And if you want to do all the glitter ones at first, um, you know, be my guest, and then that way you can do all the color ones next or however. But I'm going to again apply it all the way down to the nail bed, all to all the way up to the tip where you think it's going to be. I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds. This is very pigmented. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and kind of push it up towards the edges like we need it to be. And if you see any spots where it needs more color, then come in and you know place more color. Again, try to make it nice and rounded. Okay, I'm just going to wait a little bit for that to kind of settle in nicely. It looks like I need a little bit more color on this edge over here. Okay, and then we're going to go in, pick up some clear. Again, apply the clear so that the tip has some reinforcement all the way down to the nail bed. And what's nice about this is that also that clear that you're adding helps keep your nail from discoloring because it's going to make a barrier between the color and your nail. And again, try to keep it up to the sides. And I'm just going to take this one, turn it over, and apply it to my nail. Sorry, from the back to the front like I said I like to do. And I'm going to hold it down with some pressure, not too too much pressure, but just enough and then I'm going to come in and scrape up all that extra stuff that's kind of squeezing out, if there's any. I always like to have some squeezing out better than not enough, I'll tell you that much, because then you're going to get bubbles and it causes um, lifting. And I'm just going to pull this out towards the tip. Get rid of some of this extra, because there is a lot. Okay, and that's how I'm going to do every single one of the nails. This one looks kind of bad, and it's because of the, the color. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with all ten nails and actually I'll do all five that way you can kind of see what the one hand looks like and I'll come back alternating okay, the colors. So I've pretty much done this whole hand. This one I took off after a few minutes because I don't like keeping that on there it's so long and it just gets in my way but I just popped it off. I'm gonna pop off the pink one because I feel like this one's ready. The other three aren't quite ready yet but I'm gonna pop it off just to show you and then I'm gonna do my other hand um, off camera. But all you do is just twist it side to side and when it's ready it pops off and it's nice and shiny and I'm gonna show you we're gonna file these so that they're nice and rounded okay but I just wanted to show you how to pop them off and as you can see it's a perfect shape okay guys so all right. they're all done I still have one more just kind of waiting to dry I can feel it's still kind of warm so I'm gonna leave that alone but what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in with your nail file um, of course one would be better because you're going to see all this little extra clear stuff that's here and there you're going to get rid of that <laughs> course and if your nail is stuck to your skin at all of course you want to fix that and what you're gonna do is just come in and finish shaping the nail the way that you want it which in this case is the almond shape so I'm gonna get rid of all that little extra clear stuff clear acrylic but also shape the nail and you know the dual forms leave an awesome shine so that part we're gonna leave alone we're not gonna um, I'm not going to file the top at all and that's why you don't have to do a clear coat at the base and then your glitter and then another clear because this leaves it shiny already and sometimes on the very edges of the nail I'll still get some on ridges out here so I try to soften those okay so I'm just going to go around to all the nails and shape them the right way and I'm just going to try to wipe it so you can kind of see what I'm talking about okay so I'm done with one hand I'm not quite done with this other hand because I'm afraid my son's going to get home and then uh, I won't be able to finish it so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do as far as decorating um, the nails which they look cool just the way they are but I'm going to take some white acrylic and what's left of my monomer and a number four brush and just a second I'm just going to pick up a nice bead of acrylic and I didn't put um, acetone in this one just because I want to do this kind of quickly but well I guess it'd be quicker if I had acetone but what I mean is <laughs> just uh, finish it up I'm gonna make a nice size ball there I'm gonna put a little bow here and I'm just kind of waiting for it to get a little drier still a little soft there so once it looks kind of matte colored then you can kind of start messing with it okay and what's nice is that uh, the dual form leaves it a very nice surface for you just to do this on so it's nice and slick but anyway okay that seems to be good 
I'm just going to turn my brush to the side and kind of push into it on one side on the other or just a bow just be kind of fun oh I don't want to smash it I like my bows to be kind of puffy when I make bows so I don't want to smash it down so that's one side and oh that's too small get another nice size bead over here I don't know why today I'm really shaky I need to eat more bananas and some potassium super shaky today okay so again I'm gonna let that come to a matte consistency Add a little more there I've already kind of shaped it into a shape of a bow as you see the way I put the two dots of uh, white acrylic and again I'm gonna wait for it to come to a matte consistency hopefully you'll still be able to see this I'm gonna turn my finger the other way I got a little scuff mark on my nail there, unfortunately, but that's okay because we're going to cover it anyhow. So let me see here. I'm going to press on it in both directions and then push in. Press a little here. A little bit there. Something like that. Nice big flouncy bow. that settle. I'll do the same thing for the other hand, okay? So over the other side. So whatever I show you here, I'm going to do on the other side. And I pour a little, I have a few little um, crystals here that I'm going to use on the other hand. And for the center of my bow, just a little dot, make it a little bit larger. And I wasn't going to put a crystal in the middle and that would be really cute, but I think for this one I'm just going to leave it kind of plain. Just going to wait for that to kind of come up to matte consistency again. So I hope you guys like this design. Really simple, really easy. Not too much going on. And I'm just going to make the little center of my bow look kind of straight, like if it was an actual bow. So I'm just going to push in on the sides. And that's it, okay? And as far as the um, stones, I'm going to pour out a few different stones. I have some larger ones here from Diva DC, and I'm going to bring out some smaller small ones. AB stones from um, Republic Nail USA that are actual glass, they're actual rhinestones. And then I have some larger ones from Diva DC that are acrylic, so they're plastic. And I'm just going to apply some of my Intense Seal top coat. It's a UV top coat. And I'm going to put them, just put it right around here kind of where I scuff my nail anyway. Oops, sorry. Sorry, my hands in the way. And I'm going to pick up some of the stones, some larger ones, some of the smaller ones, and just put them here and there, wherever. Okay, I'm just going to apply like a little cluster of stones. I think maybe only one, well, maybe two large ones. I'll put one down lower. So I'm just going to apply these here and there, and then um, put it in the, my UV lamp for 90 seconds. And... That's it. So that's the design. I hope you guys like it. Really easy, really simple. I think the most time that spent was I spent was filing them into the round shape, you know, after I was done. But if I took more care as I was placing them um, when I was doing the dual forms, it would have been much faster. But I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.